The Elrond network is a highly scalable, ultra-fast, and secure platform built for the creation of distributed applications. Using the native Elrond token, eGold, the Elrond blockchain is creating innovative new use cases for the new internet economy. Since the network's main net launch in July 2020, the introduction of Elrond staking facilities and the Maiar application has brought about a huge wave of adoption to the platform. But what is Elrond? And how does Elrond work? Well, we're here to discuss that. Hello everyone, this is Luke, and welcome to Be Successful, your favorite development channel, the place you always leave smarter than you came. So what is Elrond? Elrond is a super fast, highly secure, and scalable blockchain that helps businesses and individuals benefit from the new Web3 internet economy. Used by businesses worldwide, Elrond is providing a simple path to the new digital financial landscape. The Elrond blockchain is up to 1,000 times faster than many competing blockchains. Furthermore, the scope for scalability is unprecedented. Elrond is introducing the world to the newly developing technological financial paradigm, with the Elrond network at the heart of this initiative. Also, Elrond boasts several key features. These include staking, governance, smart contracts, validator rewards, and cheap transactions. History of Elrond. Elrond is built by a team of experienced entrepreneurs, engineers, and researchers with significant blockchain backgrounds and technical experience at Microsoft, Google, Intel, and NTT Data. The team includes two PhDs in CS and AI, multiple math, CS, and AI Olympiad champions, and a former member of the NEM core team. Elrond was created and launched in late 2017 by Lucien Tadia and the Minsu brothers. Benjamin and Lucien Minsu also co-founded initial coin offering information aggregator ICO Market Data and digital asset investment fund MetaChain Capital. The Elrond team organized a private investment round that brought in nearly $2 million to the project. In July 2020, Elrond held an ICO that raised over $3.2 million by selling 25% of its total supply. Initially, Elrond traded under the name ERD, while the ticker changed to eGold once the main net was released. So what makes Elrond special? Elrond is unique through its use of sharding in the form of adaptive state sharding, which splits the network into smaller fractions so that nodes can validate transactions and network operations by resolving one partition at a time. This ensures that the network can process thousands of transactions per second while only requiring low fees. The Elrond project wants to create a new digital economy where decentralization and scalability are integral characteristics of its blockchain infrastructure. Elrond allows users to create new assets decentralize applications, and make transactions at low cost. The project is also unique as it supports enterprise-grade dApps while enabling scaling and offering three programming languages to work with. Between the platform's launch and September of 2020, Elrond used a native currency known simply as Elrond with the symbol ERD. Beginning in September 2020, a conversion occurred that resulted in ERD holders receiving one eGold for every 1,000 ERD they owned. While ERD had no maximum supply, the supply of eGold was capped at 31,450,925 coins. Nowadays, the Elrond ecosystem incorporates well over 100 projects, including stablecoins, wallets, validators, and payment providers. Elrond is also integrated with decentralized finance projects, such as Orion and Reef, while other projects building on the blockchain include UTU and ARPA. eGold has a limited supply starting at 20 million tokens, and the total supply is around 31,450,926. And this number will technically decrease as the number of processed transactions increases, since a portion of the fee of every transaction is burned. Elrond price is subject to frequent price changes that are mostly driven by the volatility of the cryptocurrency market. 
The price of e-gold can also be affected by a great number of factors that can influence the market value of Elrond. As well as traditional factors such as market sentiment, the flow of assets on exchanges, and the economy in general, the price of e-gold is also influenced by the number of tokens being staked and the balance between protocol fees and inflation used to pay staking rewards. You can safely store your e-gold tokens in any of the available mainnet wallets, such as the Elrond wallet, which comes with over 100 times lower transaction fees and full custody over your funds. Myar is another official eGold wallet supported by the Elrond blockchain. You can register your phone number with the wallet app so you can easily access your funds and activate a wallet account. You can use a passphrase to recover access in case you lose your wallet. Use the Frontier wallet for eGold in combination with the Elrond app to activate the service. There are plenty of other places you could store your e-gold, and the wallet you choose will likely depend on what you want to use it for and how much you need to store. You even have a link in the description in which you can create an account on MyR. More than 1 million people now have accounts on the Elrond blockchain, and more than 800,000 of which have also downloaded MyR. For them, hundreds of developers are building 220 plus projects, NFTs, marketplaces, resources, and tools. With the adoption going parabolic, tracking everything that is going on in the Elrond ecosystem seems almost impossible. Unlike other 3.0 cryptos, the Elrond team themselves has and will be releasing easy-to-use software in production. They don't farm the work out to other launchpad projects or simply finance them, but they themselves are building the core infrastructure and you can use it to experience the great underlying tech. Mainnet, Web Wallet, Myr iOS, Android app, and staking have all been rolled out in the first six months since launch. In the next two weeks, a DEX, Standard Token, ESDT, and Launchpad will be live for you to play on. But when we look at the adoption of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies, the largest obstacle has been the complexity inherent in the new technology. Just try explaining blockchain and the utility of cryptocurrencies to the average person and you'll quickly see that this is true. The Elrond team saw this obstacle with ERD and knew that to reach over 1 billion people, they needed to completely rethink and redesign the tokenomics of the Elrond native currency. Thank you for listening. Please tell us what you think about the Elrond ecosystem and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care of your money.